Et bonjour à tous, c'est Rico Chris. Et aujourd'hui, le match que vous attendez tous. Randy Orton avec The Rock versus Batista. And... Oh no, Terminator Schwarzenegger. Ah, ils vont monter sur le ring. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Man, the tag team scene has been on fire of late here in WWE. Ce n'est pas vraiment le match que je voulais faire en introduction de cette vidéo découverte. Moi, je voulais faire un match. Ray, non, pas Ray Dark. Euh, oh, qu'est-ce que je raconte euh, Degeneration X contre Batista et Terminator, Schwarzy. Mais euh, malheureusement, Shawn Michaels n'est pas débloqué. Mon catcheur favori n'est pas débloqué de base. Donc nous devons nous contenter du deuxième catcheur. Enfin non, c'est pas. C'est un catcheur que j'ai détesté à l'époque. Mais je trouve qu'il a bien changé. Donc j'apprécie Randy Orton maintenant un peu plus. Enfin bon, je sais pas s'il a encore changé, ça fait un moment que j'ai plus suivi un peu l'actualité du catch. Mais euh, les jeux de catch sont toujours aussi euh, extraordinaires. C'est. Waouh. Regardez-moi ça. Regardez-moi le public. Waouh. Pas de temps de chargement. Enfin, il y a toujours eu des semi-temps de chargement en fait. Et là, direct, ouais, The Rock. J'ai voulu prendre quasiment que, que des acteurs. Ren Donc Randy Orton a joué dans un film. The Rock, on le présente plus. Batista, on ne le présente pas non plus, futur méchant dans James Bond et, et Drax dans Les Gardiens de la Galaxie. Et Schwarzy, bon, est-ce que je dois vraiment le, le présenter juste faire ce match pour que je me remette en jambes en jambes oui tout à fait en jambes mesdames et messieurs en jambes et euh, après on verra un peu ce que le mode 2k showcase peut nous offrir et euh, on fera deux trois matchs et on s'arrêtera là quoi j'ai surtout hâte de voir l'intro j'ai pris Schwarzy euh, Terminator 2 C'est beau ça. Oh oh oh. The combination of these two competitors looks nearly unstoppable. I'd say this team looks like they have what it takes to walk away victorious tonight. Oh, génial. C'est le truc qui sert à rien mais qui est vachement classe. J'espère que j'aurai pas de problème avec YouTube pour oh, les musiques. On verra. The animal Batista.
and his tag team partner. From Washington, D.C., weighing in at 278 pounds, the animal, Batista. Man, both of these teams are determined to walk away with a win. Something's got to give. Man, these teams have been waiting for this one, and so have I. Voilà. C'est long, mais ça te met dans l'ambiance comme jamais. Quoi. Randy Orton vs Terminator. Oh, la terre face a un peu changé. Ah ouais, merde. Quel con. Oh non, merde, quel con. Je me suis gouré. Non, non, non. Oui, je me suis gouré. Quel bouton encore Ah, c'est celui-là. Ah Oh, ça fait mal. Oh, ça fait mal. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. Oh, dans la gueule. Ah merde. On a le tutoriel. Cole, what's he got in mind? Look at him unloading with his press. Je me demande si quand on arrivera à le faire saigner, il aura euh, les yeux de Terminator qui apparaîtront. Allez, mets-toi debout. Hop là, dans le coin. Ah, je voulais pas le faire aussi fort. Et je bim Allez, on monte sur la troisième corde. Hop là One. Mais ouais, mais il a mis 10 ans aussi à compter. Va coucher, Baptiste. Allez. Allez, je l'ai fait léger là, normalement. Ouais. Oh, il a compté. Ah, trop tôt. Faut que je reprenne mes habitudes. Le timing est assez serré. Quoi. Enfin, en tout cas, il était en précédent, le 15. Allez, hop, tu changes. Ok, on va remonter. The Rock. Tu es Air Dungeons. N'importe quoi. Allez, Dwayne. What a shot! Ah oui, merde, c'est vrai, mais je ne dirige pas ce con. Oh, mais oh, je suis con. J'avais demandé de ne pas diriger mon partenaire et j'ai. Je le dirigeais. Euh... Non, non, c'est pas moi, j'ai rien fait. Mais non Mais merde mais arrête de frapper Batista toi Mais ouais putain je suis con Oh j'ai nouveau inversé Désolé ah, j'ai vu que Batista est avec moi. Mais ouais, mais quel abruti. Quel abruti.
He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Oh, <laughs> Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. The Rock going to work now. Let's pass it. Let's pass it. Let's pass it. Oh, no. no. The Rock sees it. Oh. The thing you want to remember is sharpshooter. That'll put a hurting on you. The referee getting involved now. What a counter by Batista. After a move like that, he's going to need a chiropractor in his near future. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. And there's the tag. Oh, right to the gut. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. Terminator is mine. And he finally gets out of the ring. Oh, merde, no. And here comes his partner. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk trop about trop a trop direct <laughs> hit. The array wow. of moves that Randy Orton has at his fingertips <laughs> is truly dead. Here's the cover. How about Jesse? You would. A wild overhead punch wreaking havoc in here. No kidding, that shot came out of nowhere. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Oh! My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bored. Et contre, boom! Get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, il a contré. Un bon tour de contrer. Thinking about that arsenal of moves Randy Orton has, you can see how he developed it so well. His dad, Cowboy Bob Orton, had more than a few tricks of his own that I'm sure Randy ouais, une prise à deux, comme on les a. Yeah, and then for Randy to have Ric Flair take him under his wing as soon as he reached WWE, that's boom. Ah, ça sent le fini, je The Rock. Uh-oh. The people's champion has spoken. Well, the rock. He's seen it up. Here he comes. No, I want to descend. I want to get out. Maybe it. One, two, three. And voilà. Grâce à The Rock. Let's take a look at some of the big highlights. On voit rien. Il y a Batista devant. Spectacular match. Ouais, j'ai fait que des oh, match You want to talk about crap, please? Here are your winners. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. I love a good tag team match, and this one was unforgettable. I mean, these teams gave us everything they had, and the WWE Universe is the true winner in this one. And don't forget <laughs> you and I, we have the best seats in the house. That's a big one. Un peu le Touquet Showcase qui peut nous proposer. Et on s'arrêtera là. Eh, on a que Steve Austin. Ah, dans le précédent, il y en avait au moins deux, quoi. C'est dommage. Showcase. A stage to display one's talents. From the unforgettable moments. Mankind has achieved his dream. This is home. On the biggest stage. The boyhood dream. What did we just see? Michaels. Daniel Bryan did it. The Miracle Kid. To the greatest conflict. Oh, he's there. From the biggest names. But this showcase is about a man. A man. Who became a 
a legend. A man named Stone Cold Steve Austin. After learning his craft from gentleman Chris Adams, Austin would begin his career in 1989. I've been very impressed by Steve Austin's ability. He's showing that he has a potential to go a long, long way. In 1991, the nation got their first glimpse of the future. From Hollywood, California, 253 pounds, stunning Steve. When you bring two world-class athletes together and they mesh as one, you create an unbeatable machine. And we will be unstoppable as a team. Count on it. But despite his success, no one saw a superstar. And when injuries sidelined Steve, the future looked bleak. W -C -W. Next day, I got a FedEx mouse and I was fired. I was like... I kind of sucked. Frustration took over. There's nothing going my way because the politics kept the biggest potential superstar in wrestling on the ground. Frustration turned to anger. We're going to put the U.S. title on you, and then we're going to take you here, and then you're the number one contender, so then you got this world title shot. Well, all that never happened. And anger created opportunity. The ringmaster seems to really have it all. The size, the strength, the agility, the wrestling acumen. Austin would enter WWE as the ringmaster, but wasted no time turning himself into a more ruthless character. His peers dubbed him the ringmaster. I would suggest to you from the look on his face and his attitude, he's a stone cold if anything. His mm. moment was finally here. It's on the bigger and better things after King of the Ring, after I win it all. And nothing would be the same again. Stone Cold Steve Austin. The King of the Ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final match to determine the King of the Ring. It is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit. Approaching the ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin. And Steve Austin, ladies and gentlemen, went to the emergency room after his first matchup with Wildman Mark Marrow and had, I think, 16 stitches in his mouth and his tongue. And he has returned here, King, in the King of the Ring. Well, you know, I got to wonder if on his way to the emergency room, if he saw Jake the Snake Roberts being whisked away in an ambulance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin awaits that man. And King, that man, Jake the Snake Roberts, earlier tonight took on Vader. Oh, man. It was not a good outing for the Snake. He got squashed in more ways than one. Watch this big Vader bomb. It's lucky there wasn't just a grease spot left in the ring. 450 pounds Oof. doing internal damage. To what degree, we don't know, but Jake Roberts struggling, oh. struggling to even get his, his reptile. His reptile bag up on the apron of the ring, and Jake gingerly walking into the ring. This is a one small match in the King of oh, the yeah. Ring and the Rattlesnake showing uh, that he is wanting to end this quickly and convincingly. Oh, look at this, JR. What's he doing to him? He's uh, stomping a mud hole yes. and Jake the Snake, and now he is walking it dry. Nothing but high impact intensity. Oh from a relentless, unforgiving, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He pounded poor Jake the Snake like a tent stake. No stopping the rattlesnake here. Austin is not going to give any opportunity for Jake Roberts to fight his way back into oh. this match. Nothing pretty about Austin's offense, but it's very effective. Oh man, here goes. Oh. Austin off that second turnbuckle, driving his elbows into the sternum, the ribs of Jake the Snake Roberts.
Oh man. Ah, I don't know if poor Jake the Snake is going to be able to get back to his feet. Blessure grave. Ça ne devrait pas être trop compliqué vu qu'il est déjà bien affaibli. Non, monte. Mais monte. He's going for the top si. turnbuckle. Ah, oh, oh, c'est pas par dessus la troisième fois. Je ne sais pas comment ils survivent ces spinning net breakers, folks. Wow. Je fais rien, c'est pas une prise de soumission. Allez, redresse-le. Là, il veut plus le, le redresser maintenant. Attacking from the top. Stone Cold attacking the ribs of Jet the Snake. There you go. Anywhere. Qu'est-ce qu'un stunner? Ok, tout ça. That's what they're told. He's trying to get inside his head. Et je bille. Oui, non, je pas. J'ai pas le finish, le spécial. Merde, il m'a contré mon spécial. Mais trop tôt, j'ai appuyé. Bordel. Easily avoided. Sometimes all it takes is a basic strike. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Is this it? Ah, là c'est bon, je crois que c'est passé. Ah voilà, là il le relève. Et le stunner Stunner Un, deux, Victoire de Steve Austin The King of the Ring, Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin, the new King of the Ring for 1996. Man, this was some battle, Jr. Austin went through some tough guys to uh, finally get to the top of the mountain. There you see him. What is next for Stone Cold Steve Austin? Is this? I'm just wondering how the rattlesnake's going to look with a crown on his head. Yeah, I feel him wear it. I wonder if this is the beginning of bigger things for Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an incredible victory. The first thing I want to be done is to get that piece of crap out of my ring. Don't just get him out of the ring, get him out of the WWE. Because I've proved, son, without a shadow of a doubt, you ain't got what it takes anymore. You sit there and you thump your Bible and you say your prayers and it didn't get you anywhere. Talk about your Psalms, talk about John 3.16. Austin 3.16 says I just whipped your ass. 
Come on, that's not necessary. All he's got to do is go buy him a cheap bottle of and try to dig back some of that courage he had in his prime. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the WWE superstars. I don't give a damn what they are. They're all on the list, and that's Stone Cold's list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. It's... As far as this championship match is considered, son, I don't give a damn if it's Davey Boy Smith or Shawn Michaels. Steve Austin's time has come. Ah. And when I get the shot, you're looking at the next WWE champion, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Obviously, anything Michael, but humble. Humble. Oh, what the fourth man. prestigious King of the Ring, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. As the king of the ring, I'm serving notice to every one of the superstars. They're all on the list, and I'm fixing to start running through all of them. Steve Austin's time has come, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Oh, wait a minute, look at that. Cheap shot. Oh, no. Stone Cold Oh, come on. There you go. The Undertaker. As Stone Cold continued to scratch names <clears throat> off his superstar hit list, there was one name that had eluded Austin's sights. I'd like to use this chance to issue a challenge against one oh, Bret the man. Hitman Hart. Bret Hart. Bret Hart had been absent for the dawn of 316, and the man who had been raising hell all over WWE. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best there is. I don't pay attention to a lot of talk. I'm the best there was. Especially when it comes from you. And I'm the best there ever will be. The hitman found himself in unfamiliar territory. The crosshairs of the Texas rattlesnake. The one thing that's been missing has been me. But the excellence of execution has never been one to back down from a challenge. In the Survivor Series... I will face Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're never going to get through with Stone Cold Steve Austin. You're going to have to kill me first, son. And that's the bottom line, and it's the truth. And if I can beat Stone Cold, then I will beat Stone Cold. The rest is easy pickings for the hitman. Son, if you think Stone Cold Steve Austin is a stepping stone, We'll watch the first step, cause it's a doozy. Will Bret Hart be able to prove once and for all that he is the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be? We'll see who kicks whose ass. Or will Austin 316 stomp the hitman into exile? You ain't got what it takes anymore. Yes. Absolutely. C'est ça que j'aime bien aussi dans le Touquet Choqué, c'est vraiment le, la mise en scène et tout, ils prennent les bons moments pour, pour faire monter la sauce. On va passer parce qu'on va pas faire le match de toute façon. Hop. Ah là là là. Ça donne envie en tout cas, ça donne envie de continuer. Hop. Donc voilà, c'était une rapide découverte de W2K16. Pas de grosse différence avec le 2015, mais euh, voilà, c'est du bon. C'est du tout bon. Comme toujours avec Yux. Hey. <rire> Donc voilà, c'est Eric ou Chris. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo. Et je vous dis à la prochaine. Et n'oubliez pas, don't try this at home. <rire>